Hello, cadets! It is your mama here, and today we are back with another only one command. And today's command is actually really cool, as always. I mean, I only pick the best for you guys. And yeah, so let's get into it. So our command today is actually water bending in Minecraft, which is super duper cool, and I can't wait to do this. So our first task, as always, when using these only one commands, is that we must go and we must get a command block. So we're gonna do that by typing slash give, then your name, then uh, Minecraft colon C O M M tab there you go and you got your command block just like that you're gonna drop it on the ground then you're gonna go and you're gonna get a redstone source of something I'm gonna use a lever today you can put it down next to your block right there and then the last thing you're gonna need to do is you're going to need to go into the description of our video right now you're gonna go you're gonna copy the link that's down there you're gonna go to that link you're gonna get the command you're gonna come back and then you're going to paste it in here by pressing control V pressing done and then flipping that lever Boom! And there we go. Our magical device has appeared, which will give us the ability to water bend. So let's get into it. Um, so I believe we can. Uh, there we go. It's activated, I guess. Um, and we're here. We can right-click to get some items. So our first task, once you've done, uh, you've got this thing spawned. In order to do your water bending, is you must spawn a teacher of the water bending techniques so in order to do that you need to spawn a, wa a villager and then you need to drop a water bucket on him and then he will become a water bender which is super cool you can't even tell because now he's got all this water particles floating around him he's got his water bender name there so it's all nice and good so now when you open him up you can see that you can spend water bending experience on different spells like these all these different spells in here which is super duper cool but in order to do that you have to actually have that water bending experience so in order to get water bending experience, what you must do is you must go to still water and you must drop a nether star in. And once you do that, it will just shoot out tons and tons of this wonderful, wonderful, uh, whichever you want to call it, this water bending experience, which is super cool. So you can go ahead and you can just kill a bunch of nether and you can just drop them in there and then bam, 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 you get so much, tons and tons of this. Okay, so now that we've gotten tons and tons of this water bending experience, we can now go ahead and we can bring this all over to our little water bending guy over here. We can talk to him and then we can give him our water bending experience in and in return he will give us tons and tons of magical spells or water bending techniques that we will now be able to use. So let's go ahead and buy a bit of each just so I can try them all out with you guys. And we've got that, then we can grab this one. And then the last one, I think, is the freeze water technique. So there we go. Oh, wait, I guess there was one we didn't get. Let's go get a bit more of these. Oh, my God, we've got XP everywhere. It's flying around like crazy. That's hilarious. Okay, let's just drop another one or two in there. And then we can go ahead and we can buy that last technique that we weren't able to before. So let's run on over to him. We can open him up. We can go that last technique. Um, and give him one, uh, well not, we don't give him the nether stars, we give him the, we give him the XP. So there we go, okay. Now we've got that, okay. Now it is time to use these awesome techniques. So, the first one I believe that we got was Summon Wave. Now Summon Wave is the first of many, uh, pretty much what it does is it sends out a wave. When you right click, or, uh, when you drop it, that's what'll happen. You'll send out a wave of water. Now that wave of water will actually do damage to the enemy. So if we go ahead and we were to spawn a skeleton, no, we don't want any skeletons because they'll they'll burn in the day. Let's grab a let's see, is there a spider anywhere? Why am I the worst? I'm the worst at this. There we go. We've got some spiders. So let's drop a spider down. Oh no, a spider! What do we do? What we're gonna do is that. Oh, and he's dead. And look how crazy that is. This is so super cool. So if you are doing this online though, if you're playing with your friends, these will actually do damage to them as well, which is super cool. One last thing to note about this spell is if you throw it and accidentally walk into it, if you're not in creative mode, it's like game mode zero or mm, game mode, oh, that's no wonder, game mode zero. So if we do this and then you walk into it or I, I don't know, it doesn't hurt you is what I'm saying. It doesn't hurt you if you walk into it. So that is cool as well so um our next task is to use the ice tree spell now the ice tree spell is not necessarily used for damaging per se it's not really a combat spell all it really does is it spawns a massive tree made of ice which is super cool although it's not going to do damage it is still super duper cool just look at that thing i mean wouldn't you like to have that spell that is super awesome so we can we can just drop a bunch of these down hiya ha 
Ha! Ha! Look at those spells. We're just getting ice trees everywhere. I love it. So it's super duper cool. I love it. Super duper awesome. Okay. Our next spell now. Um, our next spell is Water Explosion. So how Water Explosion works is when you throw your thing, it'll have a countdown right here. And after that time runs out, your water will cause an explosion. Just like that. And that is super duper cool. So this can actually be used to hurt things as well. This is also another very good combat ability. We can go on over to our little cows here. They don't have any idea what's happening. We're just gonna throw, hey cow, nothing's going on at all. It's all okay. But well, I'm just gonna go hide over here and boom, he knees down. This can also be very useful if you, let's say, you wanna get rid of these ice pillars that you've made. You can just drop a few on here, just like that and there we go. Oh no, things are about to go down. Oh no, boom, boom, boom. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so that's that one. Now to freeze water. This is a pretty self-explanatory one, I'm gonna be honest. All you gotta do is you're just gonna drop it on water, and there we go. It turns to ice. Pretty simple. But I do like it. It's very, it's very simple, but it, it does the job, and it's super duper cool. You can just use it when you're running on ice, just on water, just trying to travel across the seas. You can just throw it down and we can keep running across and it's awesome super duper cool I love it I love it I love it okay so time for our last spell so this last spell here is called water stomp and when you take it out and you drop it uh, near other mobs let's go to these guys over here we've got a nice little cow here and let's say we drop it oh that cow just got destroyed because any co monster or mob nearby when you drop it will get knocked into the air and take damage so look at that Oh, poor bunny. I love you, bunny, but I had to do it for the sake of the video. Oh, let's do it to these bad guys now. Boom. Tossed in the air. Boom. Ah, oh, so super duper cool. So, that is all of these spells, or the bending abilities that we have for you today. So now, if you want to go back to your little sensei here, or whatever you want to call him, and you want to make him go away, all you need to do is get another water bucket, and you need to toss on him, and he'll go away, and he'll drop two empty buckets in his place. So, that is that. So now, that we've had all of our fun, it is time to put this little machine away. So all you gotta do is you gotta come over here, you gotta stand next to it, and all you gotta do is press destroy, and it's gone and your world is back to normal so that's that I hope you guys did enjoy that sweet little command for today I had fun with it and I hope you guys do as well so if you did enjoy make sure to drop a like down below it really helps a lot and I hope that you guys all have a wonderful day I'll see you guys next time peace out cadets